Welcome Seahawks to this week's edition of Seahawks Central News. I'm Isabel Zaustowska. And I'm Laura Delabadia. Today we'll talk about a way that you can help your local Wilmington community. We'll also be discussing the highly anticipated appointment of UNCW's new Chancellor, Dr. Zito Sartorelli. Stay tuned. Seahawks Central News starts right now. The UNCW baseball team went for the win in the battle against cancer. Freshman pitcher Clay Lockerman hosted a UNCW baseball bone marrow drive administrated by Be The Match on Saturday, April 11th at 2 p.m. The drive will benefit people diagnosed with the life-threatening blood cancers. The registry helps to save lives as patients through transplants. Lockerman has been passionate about having a bone marrow drive since a close friend of his was diagnosed with leukemia in December. UNCW has officially been assigned a new chancellor after months of debate and voting by the UNC System Board of Governors. Dr. Jose Zito Sartorelli will officially take office on July 1, 2015. A native of Brazil, Dr. Sartorelli has been the Dean of the College of Business and Economics at West Virginia University since 2010. While under his reign, the program earned the title of one of the top 100 business programs in the country. UNCW faculty, staff, and students are looking forward to him officially becoming a member of the Dub community. Each year, the Association to Advance Collegiate Schools of Business accredits new schools with the highest honor representing excellence in business schools. Earned by less than 5% of business programs around the world, UNCW's Cameron School of Business has preserved their accreditation by the AACSB once again. One of the highlights of this program is the Cameron Executive Network, which allows students to connect with retired and practicing executive members of the business community. This accreditation helps ensure that each graduate from the Cameron School of Business is highly qualified in their field of choice. As vacationers begin to swarm the North Carolina coast for summer fun, down by the shore, they may encounter a creature that they weren't expecting to see. Great white sharks aren't frequent visitors to the Wilmington coastal community, and for Mary Lee, this is the farthest north she's been this far in 2015. At 3,500 pounds and 16 feet long, the great white Mary Lee's dorsal fin broke the water on April 12th, sending off a ping to ocean researchers. Two other sharks were recorded near the Outer Banks in early April of this year. During the holiday season, many community members are excited to play their part in community service initiatives. Food drives and cook collections are helped to aid those in need in the New Hanover County region. But what happens when warm weather comes and the giving buzz of the holiday season comes to an end? This week in the Seahawk Service Spotlight is the Food Bank of Central and Eastern North Carolina. The food bank has recently put an emphasis on the need for fresh produce, straying away from the more traditional need of canned goods and other non-perishable items. Fresh fruits and vegetables provide the nutrients many need and do not get due to the usually higher prices of fresh goods. Though many local organizations like Food Lion and Target donate items throughout the year, summer is a time when most food bank shelves tend to empty. You can help the Seahawk community by picking up an extra bushel of apples or crown of broccoli the next time you go to the store. The Food Bank takes donations year-round and needs your help. Thank you for tuning in. As always, I'm Isabel Zalzchowska. And I'm Laura Delabadia. As always, it's a great day to be a Seahawk. Enjoy the rest of your week. <laughs>